second altogether. This is one of those things, Aaron, that I said that you asked me this morning, like, why are you so excited about this? And the reason that I'm so excited about this is because this is something that it doesn't matter if you're rich or you're poor. It doesn't matter where you are. It doesn't matter what color you are. It doesn't matter what political uh, bent you have, Republican or Democrat. Everybody is experiencing this thing exactly equally. And it's something where we get to see just how tiny our little part in this huge gigantic universe is and i love that well some of us more equally than than others because here in new york we're going to get about 70 percent of it so we're not sure we're even going to see the the whole shebang but but we know it's happening we know it's out there we know it's close somewhere we're going to see part of it i mean still just the fact that it's just coming across us and going through the heartland. I mean, through places like, you know, starting off going off at Idaho and, and Nebraska and Southern Illinois and, and, and Tennessee and all these places where, you know, we have this great interstate system in this country, too. So Americans can get to this eclipse and can see it in its totality. We're going to get to all of those places uh, over the course of the next couple of hours. ABC Sherry Preston here with us. And to help us understand what it is that we're all experiencing. Seth Fletcher is here from Scientific American. You guys have put together the the, the Bible on on all of this stuff, but this really is a a, a celestial event we just don't see very often. No, it's huge. I mean, uh, you know, the last time uh, anything remotely like this happened in the lower 48 was February 1979. And uh, before that, it was I think it eight, 1918 was the last time that an eclipse tracked all the way across the country. You coast were there. To coast. Yeah, totally. <laughs> yeah. So it's a, it's a it's a huge deal. And but the great thing is that you know we're not seeing totality here in New York, but we are going to have another one in 2024 that's going to go sort of north south from Texas up through Maine. So we'll get another shot at this in less than a century. That's, all right. Well, we, at least we won't have to wait uh, yeah. a, a hundred years because the, the, the first hints of, of darkness are, have started to fall now on the shores of the Pacific Coast. I want to turn to ABC's Alex Stone, who was there for us in, in Oregon. I mean, good deal of excitement there, Alex. Yeah, a lot of excitement, and I've got my eclipse glasses on. If you were standing in front of me right now, I would have no clue because it completely blocks everything else out. But looking up at the sky, even though we've got this fog in here, once you've got the glasses on and can safely look up, I can tell you it is just a sliver of the sun right now, just a a tiny bit. Looking up on the left side of the sun is all we can see. The rest of it is now gone. We are about 10 minutes, a little over 10 minutes away from totality. That's what the folks here are waiting for. But people have come in. I was talking to a couple a few minutes ago from Boston. They flew here just for this. We've seen families from Japan, from Australia, from Ireland all coming in saying they wanted to be here for this moment to see exactly what they're seeing right now as the sun begins to disappear. ABC's Alex Stone for us in Lincoln City, Oregon. And uh, Alex mentions all the people from all over the world that have come to witness this uniquely American thing because this really is only visible in, in populated parts of, of the United States. It, normally when these happen every you know, 18 months or so, it, it's in unpopulated areas, it's at the polls, but, but for now, millions of Americans get the opportunity to, to witness something that is just going to be in, incredible for many, and that's why they have these little glasses at the ready so they can see this hopefully in totality in portions of 14 states. Stay with us. This is live coverage from ABC News. I'm Aaron Katursky. It's time for the Great American Eclipse. The sun just over Lincoln City, Oregon, about to be eclipsed on the ground. And as that shadow moves across the country, it will carve a path 3,000 miles long. But it'll take just an hour, 33 minutes for this eclipse to cast that shadow traveling from coast to coast. We begin in Oregon. ABC's Alex Stone is there. Alex. Aaron, peering through the fog here, what we can see of the sun using our eclipse glasses, just a small sliver. It's the, the looking at the, the sun and the moon, the left hand and bottom sides of the sun still barely visible. We are about 10 minutes, almost exactly 10 minutes away right now from totality when it will go dark here in Lincoln City. And then that uh, darkness will move across the country as we see uh, a 70-mile wide swath 
becoming dark over the next two hours or so. Here, we're getting it first. This is the first point of contact here in Lincoln City. Then it will move through Oregon and, and on from there. A lot of people came here for this moment to be here saying that they were here. They saw it first. We've got a little bit of fog here right now, making it a little tough to see. It's going to be hard to see the defining moments uh, of totality, the Bailey's beads, a diamond effect. That we may not see, but we still see the sun through the fog here, and it's about to go dark, Aaron. ABC's Alex Stone from Oregon. Push those clouds out of the way, Alex, so everybody can can get a great view. Uh, Bill MacArthur is a retired NASA astronaut who's had the most incredible view of an eclipse from the International Space Station. Uh, Bill, it's great to have you with us. What's it look like? Oh, it, it, it's, it's, it's incredible. It's, oh, of course, it's really cool. Um, now, when I was on the station, and this was in 2006, um, it was a bit smaller than it is now. So all our windows were in the deck, in the floor, to give us good views of the Earth so we could take uh, Earth, uh, Earth, uh, Earth pictures. So I didn't have a window which afforded me the opportunity to view the sun and the moon themselves, uh, but we did have great views watching our path and the path of the eclipse converge, and we actually flew through the shadow of the eclipse uh, over the eastern part of the Mediterranean. And that's just incredible to to be able to to see it from that vantage point. And I and I think we've all been the beneficiary of the International Space Station, it, it, its science and and its images. Uh, it has to be striking. Oh, it, it's a, it was just uh, certainly the highlight of my professional career, and it was just a wonderful experience. Bill MacArthur is a retired NASA astronaut, flew three space shuttle missions, and aboard the International Space Station in 2006, uh, saw the eclipse from an incredible vantage point, uh, because the rest of us are stuck looking at the ground. Uh, and, and Seth Fletcher from, from Scientific America is here. We have all become acquainted with these eclipse glasses. Uh, these, are, these are like a thing. Now, mm -hmm. they're sold out everywhere. Right, right. You can't look at this. Right, right. Yeah, I, I, I was walking through Grand Central Station earlier, and people were lining up at Warby Parker demanding eclipse glasses. <laughs> they had somebody posted out front saying, every store in New York City is sold out. There are no more glasses. There are no more glasses. So, uh, yeah, I mean, you absolutely cannot look at, directly at it without these glasses. It will damage your eyes. Uh, welding goggles work, or a oh, welding mask uh, you know, people use mylar. Um, you know, it, it, we we looked through these eclipse glasses for the first time last week in the Scientific American office, just at the plain sun. And even that was cool. I mean, because it, it, it's just a totally new perspective. You realize it was, it's a star mm -hmm. <laughs> up there in the sky. You don't usually think of it in those terms. And that's part of the reason why scientists love this, because it is a chance to study the sun a bit. Right. Right. Yeah, the sun is more mysterious than you might think because it's so familiar to us. I mean, one of the mysteries is why, for example, the sun is millions of degrees in the center and then it cools off toward the edge to tens of thousands and then outside the sun spike skyrockets up to millions of degrees again in the in the solar atmosphere. And there are different theories on why that is. Uh, nobody knows exactly why. Um, and that's something that they can study when the moon actually blocks it. You get a very good view of the solar atmosphere that you just can't do. Uh, you just can't get that perspective through other methods. Seth Fletcher is from Scientific American here with us for the Great American Eclipse. ABC's Sherry Preston's here, too. So there's the science, and then there's the spectacle. There's a spectacle because the glasses, I mean, I, I went on, a, I was very late to get the glasses. Again, I wasn't lining up at Warby Park here, but I was lining up at 7-Eleven. Many 7-Elevens in New Jersey, no, sold out. So I brought, now this is not going to work, but this is like the cheap person's viewer. I've got a box of Fancy Feast cat food, and out of it they have this cardboard thing in it. And so the cardboard that separates each cans of cat food, you, I'm going to poke a hole in it. Tell me if this will work, Seth, okay? You're going to poke a hole in it with this pin, okay? Yep. Now, if we were outside, this, I mean, if the sun was coming down, I was going to poke a hole in this, yeah. right? Yeah. Right? Poke this hole straight in, and then it shines the light on there like that. It's not nearly as cool, but at least it's something. That's right. It's the, the pinhole method. The, uh, the pinhole method, you know, it, it, it creates a, a sort of a 
another image on on the ground or on a piece of paper. Let and me ask you a question. Why wouldn't a bigger hole work? Like if you put the sun there and you looked like that, why wouldn't that work? Um, uh, well, I think it, it, it would have to be much farther away from the ground to, to work. You, you need a just tiny, tiny amount of light going through and then you... Uh, and then you can make it. You can yeah. you can work like that because because I sat there and I said, okay, what am I going to do? I'm going to do the the cereal box method, which you can do. You put the white on the bottom and you make your own uh, things like that. There's literally people out there, including our own Mona Rivera from ABC News Radio, with cereal boxes, going to be sitting there staring up into the sky. ABC Sherry Preston trying to sort out how she's got to watch this uh, great American eclipse like so many others. I, I, I just got the, the glasses. I want to turn to uh, Rigby, Idaho, and Greg Neft, who's there for us. Greg, uh, you're almost up. How's the mood? Uh, you know what? The moon is advancing on the sun right now. I'm looking right at it with glasses. Of course, it is a crescent moon, and it is beautiful. Aaron, i got to tell you, I think we have some of the best viewing in all the country. Clear skies, not a cloud in the sky. Mm. And appropriately, we're at something called the Moonfest Music Festival, where there's a real party atmosphere. People are grabbing their glasses. And as a matter of fact, uh, the number one question I have is, like, do you have a spare set of glasses? Do you have a spare set of glasses? Unfortunately, I don't. But, uh, again, best viewing in the country. And uh, right now, it's starting. I would call it maybe twilight i think that we're starting to get dark we've got a crescent moon right now uh, the moon is advancing on the sun and it's beginning to get a little bit dark and quite frankly uh this is where it's supposed to happen this is where we're supposed to have the totality and i think that there's a lot of people uh standing around me very excited uh, i it, really i think so many people were able to travel because the path of the eclipse is within an hour's drive for just about any american how many people are around you greg uh, I would say maybe about, uh, I would think about 200 people or so in the immediate vicinity of the fairgrounds that I'm standing in. Um, a lot of people are actually starting to come in. Uh, they realize the eclipse is near. Rigby, Idaho, as you know, is in the path of totality. Now, earlier yesterday, as a matter of fact, I was in Idaho Falls uh, walking around the downtown there. I saw people from all over, con all over the country, even the world. I actually ran into a couple from Japan. They actually traveled here, apparently, all the way for this total eclipse, and they were excited. Um, I see a lot of out-of-state plates. And, Aaron, I would venture to say that in some parts of Idaho Falls, uh, out-of-state plates well outnumber in-state plates. I've saw plates from California, Washington State, Montana, uh, even Pennsylvania, if you think about that that drive. That's a, that's a hefty drive. Uh, Greg, it, it's yeah. great to have you uh, with us from, from Idaho. You're, you're almost up in the path of totality, which is nearing Oregon. And so we're going to check back with ABC's Alex Stone. Alex? Yeah, we're almost there, Aaron, about two minutes away from totality uh, hitting here and then three minutes away from the peak. The sun right now, looking through our glasses, looks like just a tiny line. That sliver has come down into a tiny, almost a smiley face. That's all that remains. It is like twilight, even a little bit later than twilight here right now. The uh, restaurant that we're next to, uh, famous in this area, Moe's uh, Crab Shack, Crab House, known for their uh, clam chowder, their sign just lit up. So it, it tells you that uh, light-wise that the signs believe it is nighttime right now. There are families here on the beach that have been setting off fireworks over the last couple of minutes. Otherwise, it's very quiet here. I was talking to a couple from Boston a short time ago, and I said, hey, can I talk to you on the air? And they said, not during totality. They want to take this in, that they want to experience this uh, looking around this crowd. As more fireworks go off, it is getting very dark here right now as I just took off my, <laughs> my glasses. Uh, the, the crowd is, everybody's looking up at the sky. Everybody's got these big, clunky, either paper or plastic glasses on. And now the crowd is cheering here. We are quickly going into darkness. This has gone from a very slow, listen if you can hear around me here. And now they're setting off more fireworks. The crowd on the beach cheering around us. It went from a very slow progression to very, very quickly here. It is officially we are in totality based on the time, and it is nighttime here. I would say that, that if I walked outside, didn't know what was going on, this would be 8.30, 9 o'clock at night. The street lights are coming on right now, and it's very, very quiet. People are laughing. They're talking to each other, setting off those fireworks, starting bonfires. This is totality right now, Aaron. 
ABC's Alex Stone in Oregon. I'm Aaron Katursky, and you're listening to live coverage from ABC News. This is WOPC FM Linden 1216. I'm in the studio with Bert Staggs, our news director. Will Nunley here along with you. And we welcome those of you who are listening and getting ready for your local eclipse parties and those of you streaming along with us live right now on WOPC HD News. And Bert, this is the moment that we've been talking about now for weeks and months, and we're just uh, less than an hour away from what is going to be as close to totality as we're going to get in, what, 96% here in Linden. That's right, 96 97%. And all across the nation, all across uh, our landscape, uh, and everybody here in the viewing area getting ready to have this moment where they can witness this incredible uh, amount of, uh, of cloud cover and, and, uh, or, or sun cover, I should say. And uh, you know that a lot of folks are out uh, getting ready for this moment. Yeah, several of our locals uh, from the local locale have uh, traveled to Nashville all along Interstate 40 in different places to watch. Some up to Kentucky. Go ahead and get your glasses ready, uh, your solar viewing glasses, and uh, continue to stream along, continue to listen along to us here on 101.3 WOPC. And we welcome again everybody joining us on WOPC HD News, where we're showing you a live stream from NASA of totality now emerging on the far west coast. And we're just moments away from seeing that shadow here in our area as well. Now back to ABC News live coverage of the Great American Eclipse. Bubs, I really do. I have goosebumps right now, even though I'm not outside. I'm not where it is just listening to those people cheer behind Alex and then have him look up at his glasses and say oh wow wow there it is pitch black it suddenly gets pitch black like that what about did you hear any of the you know uh, did, did anything get still did you hear any of the crickets come out or anything Alex Oh, I guess we, we, we don't have Alex, but, but but sitting there and listening to it, and it happens so quickly. I mean, it's just in, and then it's out, and it's and, and, and you're in the middle of it. And uh, the, the, the light's slowly going to come on because it only takes a couple of minutes for, for this all to, to, to pass by. I, and you, you, you wonder, because people who say they've been to an eclipse, they've been through an eclipse, it's just a special thing to be in... in total darkness like that very quickly i mean i've no i don't know i've been through a couple of partial eclipses but i've never been in a total eclipse but i've convinced myself that the next one the next one i'm gonna i'm gonna be at all right 2024 well, 2024 see you there sherry <laughs> uh abc sherry preston is with us as oregon experiences uh, a celestial sight like few have ever experienced. ABC's Alex Stone is there. We're going to check back with Alex in uh, just a moment as Americans gaze in wonder through telescopes and cameras and disposable protective glasses as the moon begins blotting out the midday sun, the first full-blown solar eclipse to sweep the United States from coast to coast in nearly a century. From Oregon, it goes to Idaho, and then on through its 3,000-mile journey, this 70-mile-wide shadow that millions of Americans have traveled far and wide to witness in person in these 14 states in the path of what is known as totality. An incredible sight on an incredible day. The great American eclipse is now underway across the United States. So stay with us. This is live coverage from ABC News. The great American eclipse is underway. I'm Aaron Katursky. The show is just beginning in Oregon and the great shadow 70 miles wide is now cascading across the country. ABC's Alex Stone joins us from this first point of contact on the beach in Oregon. Alex. And the lights have come back on. That was the fastest one minute, 55 seconds of my life as we experienced being in the shadow and the heart of that shadow coming across Oregon as we look up at the sun now and how quickly it happened from when I was talking to you moments ago and it was dark and all we could see was a ring around the moon. I looked back up and thought, ah, I got to put my glasses back on because we had so many warnings. That diamond effect came in and we were able to see it. We're going in. It was blocked by the clouds coming out. It definitely wasn't. And how bright it was, a bright white light that looked like a diamond. And I got to tell you, we had talked to a man who during that diamond effect, because it looks like a diamond, was going to propose to his girlfriend uh, here in Lincoln uh, City today. We don't know if it happened. He's somewhere else. He didn't want us there to do it, but he thought, hey, the diamond coming out of the sun, match it with the diamond that he was going to put on her finger. So people are here for all kinds of different reasons. That was one of them. But the light is coming back now. It's daytime once again, very quickly. Now we're go doing the opposite of what we did before. We're going into the eclipse. It was the bottom part that we could see left. Now as the 
moon and sun move away from one another. It is the, the top portion of the sun coming back out, and very quickly, it's daytime here again. ABC's Alex Stone with us from Lincoln City, Oregon. Go find out if she said yes, Alex, as the great American eclipse begins uh, to sweep ashore in Oregon in this rare coast-to-coast -coast march across the United States. Idaho is up next, and Greg Neff is there for us. And, uh, Greg, you got a little preview from Alex as uh, about to hit your area. Yeah, you know what? It's interesting. He said the lights are back on there in Oregon, and uh, while well, somebody's hit the dimmer switch here in Idaho, we're just about 10 minutes away from totality. I would call this like an eerie twilight, kind of like you'd see at 5 o'clock in the afternoon on a March day, getting darker, and it's absolutely brilliant. Like I said earlier, we have the probably the best viewing in all the country. There is not a cloud in the sky, and I'm looking right now at this eclipse, and I'm seeing a very thin crescent moon. Just gorgeous, and uh, I can tell you that this Moonfest Music Festival that we're at in Rigby, Idaho, has come to a stop as people are getting on top of RVs and uh, on platforms and just watching this eclipse. Even the band, it's, it's incredible to see just how uh, fascinating this is and how incredible it is. I want to bring in a special guest. Uh, her name is uh, 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 Trina, and uh, she is from Idaho Falls, uh, which is about 20 miles down the road, and uh, you're watching it along with me. What do you think of this so far? I think it's pretty great. I remember this about 20 years ago, of course, when I was 10 years old, and I remember viewing this eclipse with a shoebox and a pinhole. Technology's great. Now we were able to see it through our glasses, and it's pretty exciting. Yeah, absolutely. And how does this compare to that one in 79? Well, being a 10-year-old, I don't remember much. <laughs> I'm sure You're I'm listening to live coverage of the Great Eclipse on WOPC-FM Linden. As I said, uh, very thin crescent moon, uh, evening twilight, even though it's about, what time is it now anyway? It's about 11.25, and uh, we continue to watch it all as it continues to get darker again. Best viewing in the country, not a cloud in the sky, Aaron. All right, Greg, thanks so much. Greg Neft in Idaho. We're going to check back from uh, with Greg in just a moment uh, and, and the, the woman there marveling at the technology that is the Eclipse glasses, which look a little like 3D glasses that you used to get in the movies, but darker. ABC's Brad Milkey is in Missouri for us, and he is, I don't know, Brad, is the weather going to hold out where you are? Sorry, just lost you guys. All right, we'll come back to you then. No worries. ABC's Brad Milkey in Missouri, uh, and, and a bit of a windstorm, uh, some, some weather impact. Uh, we'll turn it to Seth Fletcher, our friend from Scientific American. Um, and you can hear the excitement, even in the voice of our correspondents in the field. This is neat. Yeah, you know, the people who have been through a, a total eclipse say that the difference between totality, those two minutes, and what you see from a partial eclipse is just categorical. It's just a completely different experience. And um, I find that a little depressing since <laughs> we're going to get about 70% here. <laughs> but, it, uh, you know, uh, just even watching uh, people on Twitter, watching the on, on the screen, yeah, I mean, it, it gives you goosebumps. I, you know, I'm now, like, really committed to experience this at some point in my life. 2024, I am there. <laughs> you, and, you and Sherry are going to be in your yeah. RV. We are going. We're going to be there, Seth. Absolutely. Uh, the, the thing was, when you heard uh, that suddenly get dark and then they just sort of sit and wait and and the cheering is amazing like you just sit quietly it makes you go because again having been through a partial eclipse you kind of look at it and you go yeah that was neat it, it was cool but it's not the same thing mm -hmm. what are we seeing when we're they talk about the glowing around the that they see when it the moon covers the uh, sun completely well it's the it's the inner and middle solar corona which is basically the atmosphere so you're seeing um, uh, plasma, uh, ionized gas at millions of degrees just shooting out into space. Um, and um, it depends on, you're, you're seeing the weather around the sun. Uh, and, and so we might, uh, you can see prominences, you know, arcs shooting up. Um, it's amazing, you know, I mean, and, and the, uh, at totality, uh, the sun is actually about the same brightness as the moon, which is a million times fainter than it is normally. So uh, it's just an extraordinary difference. Seth Fletcher's here with Sherry Preston. I'm Aaron Katursky. It's good to have you with us for our live coverage of the Great American Eclipse, which is underway uh, across the United States, beginning in, in Oregon. And, and already we hear from a a ABC News correspondent emeritus Jim Hickey in Charleston, South Carolina, that he's starting to see the first bits in, in his post in, in Charleston, South Carolina. So we'll check in uh, with Jim in just a little bit. ABC's Brad Milkey 
is uh, going to be checking in from Missouri, and uh, we also uh, have Greg Neft with us in Idaho, who is, well, where are you now? What's the sky look like, Greg? Uh, I would call it almost night here in Rigby, Idaho. And, uh, Aaron, I want to point out some very lucky folks. Uh, this is near a fairgrounds where they give helicopter rides of the area, and there's a helicopter in the air giving some very lucky tourists, I would say, the ride of their life. We've got the best viewing in all the country, I'll venture, because there is not a cloud in the sky. Looking right at the moon, I can tell you it's a thin, thin crescent, and there's this eerie twilight, the likes of which I've never seen in this this time of day. It's just incredible to see the shadows and to see just how much the sky has darkened here. People have stopped what they're doing at the Moonfest Music Festival here in Rigby, Idaho, and they're paying attention to this. Everybody's got their glasses on, which is a good thing. Nobody should be looking at this with the naked eye, but we are expecting one heck of a show in the next five minutes. Greg, we really appreciate you bringing us the perspective uh, from your post in, in Idaho. Uh, Greg Neft there, uh, as 200 million people live within a day's drive of this path of totality. And so Greg reports to us people from all over coming to where he is in, in Idaho, towns and parks along the Eclipse main drag of welcomed big crowds for what promises to be the most observed and studied and, Sherry, photographed Eclipse ever. Absolutely. You thought that Ellen picture was the most tweeted picture? I mean, people are up there now, especially when they hear that if you don't have the glasses and you don't want to do the cheap uh, Fancy Feast pinhole um, camera, that you can just put the selfie mode on your uh, your phone, turn around and look at it that way. Now, some people were saying that that wasn't necessarily the truth, that you could actually hurt your eyes that way, but imagine how many selfies that there are going to be of people. I mean, here's the thing. I want to see the sun. I don't need to see you in the sun. Just the sun. Just the sun. <laughs> yeah. Seth Fletcher is here, too, from Scientific American. Should we be taking a picture of this, or should we just experience it? Uh, I I would encourage people to just experience it, because it takes some special preparation to properly take a picture of this. I mean, there are guides online. I, I don't know how to do it myself. I have not prepared, but I I don't think that it's nearly as simple as just pointing your iPhone at the sun and hitting, you know, the button. Uh, so it's probably going to be wasted effort anyway. I would just enjoy it if I were there. We'll leave it to the experts at NASA and others who are following the, the path of this uh, eclipse as it cascades across the country really over uh, an hour and a half time period, just an, an astounding thing, traveling at 1,800 miles per hour, this 70-mile-wide shadow that, that's being caused as the, the moon passes between the sun and the earth, uh, a rarity that we haven't seen in the continental United States in 99 years. And, and the last time we saw anything close was, what, 1979. So it, it's such a fun experience for anybody interested in science or even religion or anyone who just wants to gaze up. It's great to have you with us on this Monday for the Great American Eclipse. I'm Aaron Katursky, and you're listening to live coverage from ABC News. Our live coverage continues now on 101.3 WOPC. We're also broadcasting live uh, for you on WOPC HD News at this hour. As a matter of fact, if you're streaming along with us, let's go ahead and take a live look at downtown Linden, uh, where we are right now, and uh, still very clear skies. A few white puffy clouds. Sorry about a breath. We've been running around, folks. <laughs> We're trying to get our, our glasses ready. We're trying to make sure that we have uh, the best ca uh, cameras available to you because in addition to uh, the radio product that you're hearing right now, we also have that live streaming uh, going on right now live on WOPC HD News. I'm Will Nunley, who is... I've got to got to work out more, Bert, because I'm already out of breath. Uh, after the but I'm, uh, Bert, uh, news director Bert Staggs is going to join me. We're going to take just a moment and kind of uh, walk outside here with you folks and experience this along with you. We're coming to you live uh, on the Courthouse Square, uh, our new home here for WOPC uh, Linden. And uh, right now, Bert, still plenty of sunny Scott. Do you have your? I see you brought your glasses out here. I brought my glasses with me to check this out. Okay, so we got to have your solar glasses. So you've got them on. I don't. I'm going to let you do. A lot of the report but uh, go ahead go around the corner there tell us what you're seeing this is the magic of radio folks but for those of you who are uh, streaming along with us and listening along with us this afternoon uh, we welcome you and we're glad that you're here are you seeing any type of cover at all yet news director Bert who's staring at the Sun <laughs> with his glasses on oh we're seeing about a one-quarter covering oh really so you can see it yes 
All right, so there you go, folks. So make sure that you're starting to get outside, uh, that you're getting that you're getting your place ready, because according to uh, our official sun watcher here, News Director Bert Staggs, we do have uh, a little bit uh, of cover that's starting to happen. Remember, this is uh, racing through at 1,800 miles an hour. This shadow is covering the nation at 1,800 miles an hour. Uh, so that's pretty interesting. We have lots of watch parties, lots of schools uh, out today as well, or schools that will be watching this along uh, in their uh, in their parking lots, kind of watching the, the shadow being cast. And again, if you're streaming along with us live on Facebook at WOPC HD News, we will have a live camera set up to show you what's happening uh, downtown as well. So we're having live feeds from NASA, coverage from ABC News and live feeds as well. I'm going to catch my breath, folks. I'm kind of embarrassed. I'm going, to, <laughs> I'm going to catch my breath. Let's rejoin ABC News for more live coverage on 101.3 WOPC. Well, I think they're just as into spectacle as anyone, maybe even more so. But uh, there are things that you can learn from eclipses. I mean, there's a lot we don't understand about the sun. It's hard to study. I mean, it seems, it seems like we should the, the sun should be a perfectly well understood entity because it's so familiar but uh, there are mysteries you know why is the solar atmosphere uh, millions of degrees when the surface is only tens of thousands of degrees that's you know the, there are theories and nobody's entirely sure why though and so uh, this you know just as it allows you know normal spectators to see the sun's atmosphere you know it, it does the same for instruments of science and, you know, there's a long history of uh, eclipses being used to test, uh, well, going back to Arthur Eddington, 1918, uh, used, he, uh, used the solar eclipse to measure the bending of light around the sun, and that was the first verification of Einstein's theory of general relativity. Uh, it's stunning uh, that, that something so neat can also be so scientifically useful. And, well, the moon hasn't thrown this much shade since 1918, right? And uh, that was the country's last... Uh, coast to coast total eclipse and m more Americans than ever are experiencing it in one way or other uh, the US mainland hasn't seen a total eclipse since uh, you know uh, gosh uh, since 1979 and even then that was just a few states 14 states are in the path of totality and more of them are experiencing it coming up you're listening to live coverage from ABC News this is live coverage from ABC News, the great American eclipse. From ABC News headquarters, here is correspondent Aaron Katursky. The moon hasn't thrown this much shade since 1918. The great American eclipse is underway. The shadow, 70 miles wide, races across the country on its way to South Carolina. Started in Oregon, that's where ABC's Alex Stone is. Alex? And we'll get to Alex in uh, just a little while as uh, he, like so many others, are swallowed by these uh, ginormous crowds. 200 million Americans live within a day's drive of the path of totality in 14 different states. Uh, here in New York, where we are, we're only going to get about 70 percent, so we are not among the lucky few until 2024 when our luck may change. But we'll talk about that uh, later. We are still in the middle of, of this cosmic spectacle we just don't get to see very often, and people did not want to miss it. ABC's Sherry Preston is here with us, too. Sherry. And even if it's cloudy out, this is a question for, for, for Seth Fletcher from Scientific American. Even if it's cloudy out, you still get that essence of, of, of the eclipse, don't you? You might not see the whole thing, but do you still get a little bit of it? I think it depends on how cloudy. Uh, yeah, clouds are the uh, ground-based astronomers' worst nightmare. Um, uh oh, but I, it's it's got to be cool. I mean, I can't say from personal uh, experience because I have not been to one of these. But I'm going to imagine that uh, you have uh, just the overall ambience is going to probably change and in a way that uh, you've never experienced before, even if it's cloudy. Because one of the places that people had looked at the past weather patterns was St. Joseph, Missouri, mm -hmm. you know, and, and that's why so many people had flocked there, and that's why they're having a little trouble there, because there's so many people there today, but they've got clouds. This morning they were saying that uh, it was cloudy and they were it was looking like it was rain, and um, we could hear Brad talking to people who were there on the ground, and we could hear the wind, and I was like, no, no, all these people, but you can't have perfect weather everywhere. I mean, 
No, that's true. I mean, it, 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 clouds can clear at the last minute, too. And uh, I actually grew up in Missouri, so I can say from experience that the weather is volatile. You know, I mean, it can be a th- total raging thunderstorm one minute and then it'll be sunny and clear the next minute. So, well, maybe not a minute, but five minutes, 10 minutes. So I would encourage people there to hang in there. Hang in, right. And, and and even if you don't get a total eclipse, a partial eclipse is better than nothing. Yeah, you know, in fact, uh, I'm seeing people posting pictures online of of some of shadows, and this is something I'd read, described, but I couldn't really picture it. But um, people are posting shadows on the ground, and they, it's like a bunch of little crescent slivers of uh, light coming through trees. And I, you know, I had read descriptions of that, but I couldn't picture it. But it's pretty amazing. I mean, just even the shadows cast by partial eclipses through trees. It, pretty otherworldly. I had read that too that that's what you were going to see. It was going to look like when the, when the sun filters through but it's all little slivers of, of yeah. what look like the moon but it's the sun. Is, yeah. I got goosebumps again. I got goosebumps again. There we go. The Great American Eclipse is moving across the country. ABC's Brad Milkey uh, with us from right on the, 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 the Kansas-Missouri state line. Brad, what's the crowd like? Well, the crowd is huge, first of all, Aaron. As Sherry was saying, it's so easy to get to this band in a country like the U.S. That is what is making it the most widely viewed eclipse in history. People descended on on this town of St. Joseph from nearby Kansas City, but also places as far as Austin, Texas. I talked to a couple from Maine. People came from Jacksonville, Florida. And then, of course, you've got the eclipse chasers, right, the veterans, the ones who are coming from Australia and the U.K. who have done this dozens of times. I even talked to one father and son. The son said, my father's been planning this literally my whole life because 38 years ago when he saw a partial eclipse, the dad said, you know what? I got to see the thing in real life. He circled the date, August 21st, 2017, and he decided to come up here to St. Joseph, and he brought his son along with him. Oh, very sweet, Brad. And, and in addition to those diehards, did any casual people that forgot that it was happening today or, oh, yeah, some eclipse thing? We've had people ask us about the lunar eclipse, Aaron. Now, I don't know if there's a lunar eclipse on the schedule, but I think it just speaks to how, you know, you hear something on the news, there's an eclipse happening. You know that those lunar eclipses and those blood moons happen every now and then. And, they, and people didn't quite realize just how special this event was and just how lucky they were to live on this 70-mile-wide strip that is passing across the country. Uh, a young man I met was holding his birthday party here because the eclipse happened to coincide with his birthday, happened to go over his hometown, and he decided, let's really blow it out. He opened it up to everyone. It's been uh, it's been on a, a website he's been promoting for over a year now. Right now he's got a thousand or so people over at his house in his parents' backyard. That sounds awesome. Uh, Brad Milkey uh, there on the Kansas-Missouri state line in the path of totality. The great shadow that Brad described as 70 miles wide just uh, past Idaho, and Greg Neft experienced it for us with us live. How was it, Greg? Um, it was a once in a lifetime event, Aaron. I got to tell you, I was here with friends, and the minute it hit totality, everybody was jumping up and down and cheering. It was just incredible. Total darkness with a little bit of that diamond effect that you hear so much about. Um, an amazing sight. There was actually a helicopter in the air, a tourist helicopter, and I got to say, they were probably getting the view of a lifetime. Folks here are probably going to remember this for the rest of their lives. I want to bring in a special guest here who's watched it with me. Her name is Trenna. And uh, what'd you think? I thought it was amazing. One way to to or to totally get it into perspective, it was just awesome. It was a great opportunity to be able to see this. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Other friends, guys, I know that you saw this. What did you think? It was insane to see how quickly it would go from dark to light, or light to dark, and then all of a sudden from the totality coming right back in to sun. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah, amazing it was. I think we saw some stars. Did you see some yeah, stars? There, yes, there were some stars. It was crazy. Yeah. Well, gang, the music is back on, the party is back on, the Moonfest Music Festival here in Rigby, Idaho, and I think, quite frankly, it's gotten a lot more festive, if you ask me, Aaron. ABC's Greg Neft uh, for us in Idaho. 
This is live coverage, everybody, of the Great American Eclipse on 101.3 WOPC, streaming live on WOPCradio.com. And we also welcome all of you here joining us for our video feed, streaming along right now on our news Facebook page, WOPC HD News. I'm Will Nunley here with News Director Bert Staggs as we uh, now are here live on the Linden Town Square, uh, where more and more people are starting to exit the courthouse, it seems, and looking up at the sky. And we're going to go ahead and do the very same thing. We have our... Uh, a couple of pairs of these safety solar glasses and I'm doing my best to peer up and sure enough here from the square in Linden Tennessee you can see a big old bike being taken out of the Sun and that's the very start of this amazing solar eclipse uh, that one of these once-in-a-lifetime experiences here for our region and uh, we welcome all of you who may be uh, listening to us. We want to know where you are if you're having some type of a solar party this afternoon. Maybe you're out in a field and uh, taking a day off work and taking in this once in a lifetime experience along with us. We would love to know where you are watching the eclipse today. Uh, but here live uh, from downtown, the heart of downtown Linden, we can certainly see the very start of this. Again, for us here in the WOPC listening area, we're going to have about a 98% between 96 and 98 percent coverage of this certainly it's going to get a little dark around here for just a second uh, we'll still have some uh, of the moon visible uh, but certainly it will uh, it will be enough for us to uh, to experience we have a live camera by the way uh, that is trained on our courthouse and uh, when this all starts to happen you will see it go uh, from day to night uh, if you're streaming along from uh, wherever you may be in the nation today, if you want to see what uh, how this all unfolds for your hometown, um, you can certainly see that. And we welcome everybody who's streaming along with this as well and listening on the radio, of course. And uh, we want to know where you're celebrating today. Uh, lots of the schools, as we mentioned, uh, including right here in Perry County, all have their glasses ready. They've been taking a look at the sky. And uh, we have uh, our own Stacy Evans, who will be checking in with us a little bit later. She is there at uh, Perry County uh, School with her children helping to watch all this take place and uh, our, our news director Bert Staggs is here uh, as we kind of keep an eye to the sky and an eye on things here this afternoon and Bert uh, we have a group any idea who this group is it's here taking pictures is this the courthouse staff or just uh, or just another group it appears to be the courthouse officials uh, <laughs> they're taking in the eclipse now Okay, so they all came out just a second ago for an eclipse photo, and uh, and so they are, uh, you know, hey, it's a, it's a historic day. It's worth commemorating. So you're listening to live coverage from 101.3 WOPC, streaming online at WOPCradio.com, and we're going to rejoin Aaron Katursky at ABC News here momentarily uh, as they continue their coverage from around the nation. Of course, we've already seen this unfold uh, from Oregon and down through Idaho, and in just a few moments, we're going to have that uh, as close to totality as we can get covering us here in the Tennessee River Valley. Thank you so much for joining us for this historic day. And uh, we will continue now with ABC News live coverage of the Great American Eclipse. The first place in the country to experience totality. How was it, Alex? It was incredible. You know, I keep going through it in my mind of how quickly it went from light to dark. And you heard everybody cheering. And it got really cold here as, as the sun disappeared. Uh, and to see that ring, almost like an LED ring uh, around the moon coming from the, the sun behind it, even now as I look up at the sun with our eclipse glasses on, there is still a big chunk. It looks like Cookie Monster took a, a bite out of the, the sun. The lower left-hand portion as you're looking uh, up into the sky is still missing. And so many folks here. It, it's amazing. They came. They spent a lot of time here in Lincoln City, and they're gone. This beach went from full to <laughs> empty very, very quickly. Just a minute ago, I caught up with a family from Canada who drove overnight on a whim. They were watching Game of, Game of Thrones, and uh, the dad decided, you know what, let's go do this. He says he turned it off and said everybody in the car. They drove down. They're getting back in the car right now to, to head back, but here's what they just told me. Amazing. Amazing. Awesome. Yeah, what was it like in that moment? There was no light. It was so cool. And that ring around the moon coming from the sun? It looked like it was a flaming moon. Yeah, yeah. What'd you think? Well, I, I just loved it. Like, for the for one t once in a lifetime, it's like everything goes black. And it's just so spectacular. Oh. Yeah. And it got cold too, right? Yeah, it got really cold. It got really cold. I, I didn't have a jacket on like these guys. And it was like just seeing 
the sun go down, like the the moon come across, and it getting darker, and it just it's setting the scene for like the solar eclipse. It just got colder and colder, and it just. And then it, it was back. The sun came back. Yeah, and then you could just see a sliver. Then it all came back. It was it was, it was awesome. So cool. Are you ever gonna so forget cool. this? It's pretty cool. Yeah. 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 So many people still with their glasses on as they head back to their cars, trying not to trip because the glasses are so dark. As they continue to look up, and, and they begin to head out now. Aaron. ABC's Alex Stone on the beach in Oregon with kids who were just giddy with excitement over experiencing a solar eclipse. Alex, too, in his Cookie Monster reference, you can tell how old his kids are. Uh, Sherry Preston's with us, and uh, Sherry, Oregon, just getting the the first taste, but uh, we're, we're right near the, the beginning, Idaho, Wyoming, Nebraska. Uh, toward uh, Missouri and beyond. And beyond and, uh, and further down and listening to people all out there together, listening in Charleston, South Carolina, that was really neat, having a block party, just going out with your friends. Uh, you know, one of the things that you, when these uh, this happens, when you hear people talk about it happening so quickly, it makes you realize not only are you just a tiny part of this universe, but how powerful our sun is and how much we need that sun. I mean, it, it goes away and it, it instantly gets cold and it's gone and, and, and it really makes you think. A scientist say it drops 10, 12 degrees. Because it's, it's just like it's night out there. And you're like, hey, wait, that's the star out there. That's the star that, that we need <laughs> to, to survive. Uh, an amazing spectacle for the public at large, for scientists in particular. Uh, Seth Fletcher from Scientific American is here. And, and we're going to talk to Seth about some of that in, in just a second here as millions of Americans experience this total eclipse of the sun by the moon in 14 states that are in this path of totality when the, the, the moon just uh, pokes a hole and, uh, of darkness where the sun should be and, and people experience it for just two minutes but in that two minutes you, you, you witness something that has not been seen in this country in 99 years. We're glad you're along for this ride. Stay with us as our coverage of the great American eclipse continues. We have many more states, many more places and many more people to visit along the way. This is live coverage from ABC News, the great American eclipse. From ABC News headquarters, here is correspondent Aaron Katursky. The great American eclipse marches on. It has left Oregon and Idaho on its way to Wyoming and Nebraska and Missouri as millions of Americans gaze upward to witness through these special glasses a phenomenon not seen in this country in the continental United States for 99 years. ABC's Brad Milkey joins us from St. Joseph, Missouri. Brad? Aaron, I am in St. Joseph right now at a big airfield, and because of how big this place is and how it was right on the path of totality, smack dab in the center of the country, so many people came from around the nation, 15, even 20,000 are the estimates, and right now I'm joined by some people who are sticking it out in the rain. That's right. It started pouring on us. Yeah, it's uh, definitely coming down a little bit, but it's still part of the festival and activities. You guys are hanging out here in sandals. You guys look like you're still having a good time somehow. Oh, yeah, it's the gathering. A few beverages, a little camaraderie. Uh, it's all good. Now, where did you guys come from? South Dakota. South Dakota. How long was that drive? Oh, it was about four hours, four or five hours. So why are you guys traveling four or five hours to go see the moon pass in front of the sun? What's the big deal for you? Uh, yeah. Yeah. That? Just because we can. We won't be alive for the next one, so we thought... You know, seize the moment. Grins and giggles. Yeah. All right. And yeah. so now, well, how have you been spending your time while you've been here? Oh, see, we did a little bit down Kansas City. Did a little sightseeing down there. and Barbecue. Barbecue. Some uh, brewery tour and then making our way back north. All right. And, and now, what has the day been like? Did you feel the has the anticipation been growing? You're still holding out hope, maybe, for that moment of totality. That's still about 20 minutes away. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's still just, just experience the full darkness and... Uh, Hopefully, maybe it'll break a little bit afterwards so we can catch a little bit of the moon passing past it. So, All right. Well, there you go, Aaron. We are still waiting for that moment when perhaps, just perhaps, the sun will poke out. You'll see that diamond ring effect. You'll see those beads when the uh, rays of light shine through the craters and the valleys of the moon itself. And then we're looking for that big moment when the sky gets dark and the moon completely blocks out the sun. It's just conveniently the same size. <laughs> ABC's Brad Milkey in St. Joseph, Missouri, in an airport 
uh, parking lot, big field out there, churches, fairgrounds are all packed with viewing parties. And why not? Seth Fletcher's here from Scientific American. Got to see it. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, I, I wish I was there. And <laughs> it's good to be here. Well, Don't get me wrong. On. But um, <laughs> yeah, it's the, the infection, or the, the enthusiasm that is coming back uh, from all these places is, is infectious. It really is, and yeah. and and as scientists watch this, um, and and you know NASA has its official viewing station in in Nashville, but they, they, there's some interesting things that they're going to be looking for. Right. Uh, I mean, it's what's what's amazing about our sun is um, uh, how well you know how little we, I, we we know a lot about the sun, but don't get me wrong. But there are there are mysteries that are just. You know, it's ten thousand degrees at the surface, and then you go outward, and it's and it's millions of degrees. Why is that? Well, there are theories, and uh, but nobody is entirely sure why. And that's just one of you know various mysteries. It's hard. It's hard to study. It's hard to look at the sun. It's mm. it's, it's it's bright. It's intense. Seth Fletcher of Scientific American here for our coverage of the Great American Eclipse of 2017. I'm Aaron Katursky. You're listening to live coverage from ABC News. And our live coverage continues here locally on 101.3 WOPC. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Will Nunley here in our studios in downtown Linden, uh, where I'm joined by our news director, Bert Staggs. And we are uh, starting to really see the effects of the eclipse here across the Tennessee River Valley. We also welcome all of you that are streaming alive right now along with us uh, on WOPC HD News. And, and that will be a way for you to not only see the eclipse from NASA's point of view at cameras stationed around the nation, uh, but we will also have a camera trained on the uh, downtown Linden Courthouse as well. And so that's one way that you can kind of get a view of everything that's happening in and around the square. I want to bring in our news director, Bert Staggs, here. And Bert, uh, you know, you've just been, we, we've been casually kind of taking a, a view outside every now and then and looking at uh, at the sky. You you, you had a uh, kind of a, an idea of where we are. You know, you're, you're learning your lunar to, uh, terms, I guess I should say. And uh, kind of where are you right now and where do you think we are so far as this eclipse? Well, if it were a moon, I would describe it as a crescent moon, but I guess it's a crescent sun. So there we are. And so you're looking up at the sky, and you can really kind of start to see uh, this, um, the, this eclipse taking place here along uh, the Tennessee River Valley. Yes, you can. It's, you're beginning to be able to see it now. We have folks gathering around uh, on the courthouse square, and uh, we're certainly blasting out to the uh, the courthouse and, and letting them join in on the coverage with us, uh, no matter where you are. We're just before the top of the hour, folks. This is WOPC-FM Linden. Will Nunley here along with our news director, Bert Stangs, in just a few moments. Stacy Evans, who is also out and about in the community today, will be joining us. She is down uh, at um, the, uh, I believe, Linden, Ella, Linden Middle School, maybe. Uh, where the kids uh, here are locally are getting ready to don their solar glasses and uh, and take a look. And, and Bert, I'll tell you what, I'm going to have to steal those glasses from you for just a second because I'm going to take a, a look here uh, on the air. And folks, you're right, if you're looking up along with me now, you're starting to see a pretty good amount of coverage uh, of the sun so far. It's looking good. It's starting to happen. And we will see the skies here of the Tennessee River Valley get dimmer and dimmer. Uh, and I believe that we're looking at a, you want to me definitely make sure that you're outside between the hours of, say, uh, or the time, rather, of 1.15 to about 1.30. That's when we're going to experience the most of the shadow here in the Tennessee uh, River Valley. And we're seeing folks kind of stick their heads outside, basically probably telling me to turn down the racket, but we are creating a racket here this afternoon because just like you, we're excited about bringing you this live coverage of this once in a lifetime experience with the solar eclipse taking its path right here across the Tennessee River Valley. We are seeing folks uh, come in, really inundating Nashville. We've seen some, some great images of uh, folks that have uh, really capitalized on this event, Bert, and some folks have uh, you know, sectioned off parts of their farm for folks in Wilson County and Lebanon. They've gotten creative uh, with what they've done and really help it, uh, you know, really kind of capitalized on all of this as well. So it's really quite uh, quite a sight to behold, and uh, and there's certainly plenty to see here. We're going to bring in our Stacy Evans, who uh, is uh, watching this along with students today. And Stacy, welcome. Uh, you're on live with us, and tell us what you're seeing where you are. 
I'm seeing a, a whole slew of kids lined up to, to watch this big event. They're lined up on the sidewalk out here at Linden Middle School. It looks like mostly the science, uh, I see the science teacher out here. I'm seeing uh, some teachers with their glasses on. Everybody's got your glasses on. Everybody say, what's up? It's the Eclipse. It's 1013. You're on the air. Say, what's up? What's up? <laughs> We're having a big time right here at Linden Middle School. We've got uh, all the cool teachers out here. They've got their glasses ready. I see the science teacher. What are you thinking about this? Oh, she's, she's saying, I, I got to leave my glasses on. They're all laughing. They're cracking up. So are you all ready to see the eclipse? Yeah, yeah they're ready. Well, it's starting now. I, I'm a little afraid to do this. I've got my glasses. I'm afraid to look at the sky. Have You just looked at it, right, Will? It, it's an amazing sight. The, the, uh, the solar glasses really do, you know, what they're supposed to do. And uh, it's quite a sight. It really does look good. It's, it's worth uh, taking a couple of minutes and taking a look up, Stacy. Well, I'm excited. I'm down at another section where I've got some teachers out here. And what do you guys think of the eclipse? We think it looks a little funny out here right now, Stacy. There you go. There, there's one of the teachers. <laughs> it looks a little funny out here Is right now. Is that a now. scientific explanation of what's going on? It, it, that, that is. It's a little funny. It's got that haze in the air. Do you? Or can you see the haze? Yeah, It's kind of like a... That we're not even... So... So, do you guys like the eclipse? Yep. Yeah. Do you like being out of class? Yep. Yeah. Yep. They're they're excited. What grade are you all? Fifth. Fifth. So, what do, what do you think you're gonna see? A moon. A moon? <laughs> We've got all kinds of answers. I'm I'm looking for some free moon pies. Yeah, well, actually, actually, our own Bert Staggs brought in some moon pies. Stacy, we're going to rejoin you here in just a second, and uh, have have fun with your uh, viewing party there, along uh, with the folks at Linden Middle. Absolutely, you too. All right, thanks Stace, so much, Stacy Evans, joining us live there uh, with the students at Linden Middle School, and uh, we are getting closer and closer to what will be uh, the moment uh, of totality ish for us. And uh, it's right, you can kind of start to notice a little bit of a, uh, the haze is how they're describing it as the amount of sun that we're exposed to here along uh, where we're watching things this afternoon is starting to decrease ever so slightly. Folks are kind of coming out uh, this afternoon, taking their place around this town square. And that's why we're here along with you broadcasting uh, with your hometown radio station this afternoon. We're going to be watching along with you. We're going to rejoin our coverage of ABC News. They are tracking the eclipse at 1,800 miles an hour as it stretches across the nation. And we'll rejoin Aaron Katursky and the gang with ABC News. And we're back with you in just a few moments. It's the top of the hour. This is WOPC FM Linden, streaming live at WOPCRadio.com and live video on Facebook at WOPC HD News. Back with more in just a moment. It's 1258. The United States, a 3,000 mile journey at 1,800 miles per hour. It's racing. I'm Aaron Katursky. You're listening to live coverage from ABC News. I think we all became Bonnie Tyler fans. Uh, uh, maybe not all of us, but ABC Sherry Preston has been dancing to this in her head since the day began. You, you say I have. Oh, there she is. The best karaoke song. Okay, here we go. Nothing I can say. Total eclipse of the heart. Thank you. Thank you. Here we go. Number one on iTunes, ladies and gentlemen. Number one, Bonnie Tyler. She was aboard a cruise ship oh. singing this for, for untold numbers of fans. And, and who would have thought that in 2017, Bonnie Tyler would stay relevant enough in our scientific exploration of the Great American Eclipse. And she was on Good Morning America today, looked phenomenal. She's on there on the cruise ship waiting. She sang the song. She looked great. And, you know, she, she probably had this in her mind when she put that song out. She's like, you know what? In August of 2017, they're going to be coming to me. They're going to be begging me to sing this song again. And sure enough, here she was on Good Morning America. Seth Fletcher from Scientific American, also a large Bonnie Tyler fan in his own right, uh, the, of course. In, in, in popular culture, the, the eclipse has, th there is something mysterious about it that you know, we don't fully understand, but we knew this one was coming, and to be able to even predict that seems astounding. It, it, it is, and yet, uh, I mean, you know, we've, we've mapped out the eclipses for the next, you know, 
I, we ran a, a, a graphic depicting, you know, a thousand years of eclipses in, in Scientific American. I mean, it's very basic uh, Newtonian physics. Uh, these based on equations that go back, you know, 300 years. Um, so, yeah, these are things that we know. You know, there are lots of mysteries, but we mechanics of uh, the planets and the moons, we we know. <laughs> And so much more yet to, to learn and, and discover, and we're glad Seth is here from Scientific American as we follow the 70-mile-wide shadow on its march across the United States. ABC's Brad Milkey from St. Joseph, Missouri, nearing the time, Brad, if those clouds part for you. We're just a few minutes away from totality right now, and just as I was giving up hope, Aaron, the sun just barely peeked out from behind the clouds, and I'm with some people from, where are you guys from? Iowa. How old are you? I'm nine. What's your name? My name's Helen Hutchison. Helen, what? you're an expert. We've been talking. What would we be seeing right now if that cloud would just get out of the way? Um, well, we'd be seeing the sun, and the moon would just be reaching over, trying to cover the sun. And, Aaron, if you look up, you can actually see just a sliver of the sun left. That is what is keeping the sky alight right now, and that's going to get much, much darker in just the next couple of minutes. Brad, you're there with a, a nine-year-old expert and countless others uh, in the middle of this airport field. How many people are there? We, we got 15,000, 20,000 tickets were sold, Aaron, and some people were already trying to take off mid-morning to try to get out of here. They're looking for a patch of sunny spot. Other people are sticking around here. Are you guys having fun, by the way? I mean, is this any fun? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Why? Because we can spend time with each other and play around. Yeah. A, a very poetic group that we're hanging out with here, Aaron. And, and you actually heard a little bit of a whoop come out from the crowd. And in scattering pockets, here you go. You start seeing it. All these kids are putting on their glasses right now. And you can just make out the sun right now. <laughs> we're all putting our glasses on. You can hear the excitement right there. And right now, Aaron, you can see that diamond is forming around the sun, a beam of light shooting out, and everyone is trying to figure out, where do I put my glasses? Can I take them off? Because this is a, a, a big deal right now. Helen, what are you seeing? Um, well, there's just a little sliver of the orange, and it's just getting smaller by the second. Getting smaller by the second, Aaron, as we have a miraculous sort of hole just poking through the clouds. The rest of the sky is absolutely gray, except for right overhead right now. When we were told 38 years ago that this moment would happen, and people, some of them started planning their trips back then. ABC's Brad Milkey and his friends in St. Joseph, Missouri, where they finally have been able to, to see a piece of this as the clouds part and everybody puts on their special solar eclipse glasses they look like welder glasses on the old 3d things you used to get in the movies and they're sold out across the country including in charleston south carolina our good friend jim hickey is at a block party just outside charleston get ready jim it's coming to you okay aaron i'm ready we've got about uh, two dozen families here at this block party as you can probably hear them in the background and i have to tell you we've been battling cloud cover here in uh, Charleston for the past couple of hours, but we seem to be winning. And we also have a double treat here, Aaron. I'm looking up at the uh, sun, at the eclipse through my special glasses, and I can see now that we're almost halfway across the sun, or that is the moon is halfway across the sun, but it is also behind a thick layer, let me take that back, a thin layer of clouds that are full of moisture. So the double treat we're getting here, Aaron, is that around the sun is a faint rainbow as well. Mm. So it's a double treat, and people here are enjoying uh, this picnic. You can hear they brought all kinds of food. Kids are riding their tricycles around and playing games and just having a wonderful time with uh, this uh, event here. And they are occasionally picking up their glasses and looking up at the sun. And I was talking to my neighbor, Jerry, who was talking to her sister, did you say Jerry, in yes. Portland, Oregon? My sister in Portland. And what did she say? She said it is truly an amazing sight. She is so grateful to be blessed to have seen the sight. And she said, look at the water, because the reflections in the water, the colors are spectacular. We will do that. We'll look at the water. 
We're having a great time, Aaron. Wish you were here. Sounds just like it, Jim. Thanks. Uh, ABC News correspondent emeritus uh, Jim Hickey will check back in with Jim just outside Charleston, South Carolina. And such good reminders. It isn't just the sun and the moon, but the water, the rainbow, uh, so many natural marvels to behold on this day of the great American eclipse now racing across the country right in the middle of the country, and we're about to check in again with Brad Milkey in St. Joseph, Missouri, as he experiences totality for the first time. Stay with us as our coverage continues. This is live coverage from ABC News, the great American eclipse. From ABC News headquarters, here is correspondent Aaron Katursky. The Great American Eclipse is on the march, smack in the middle of the country now, the 70-mile-wide shadow in St. Joseph, Missouri, ABC's Brad Milkey, and a crowd behind him there. Brad. Aaron, as you opened the show, that is the exact moment that the moon fully encompassed the sun. The sky, which has been gray, light gray, has now plunged into black. And all around us, as you turn around on this flat Missouri landscape, you can see a sunset all the way around you. This is the moment that we, people here have been talking about for weeks, if not months. And I'm here with the crowd. You guys, describe what you just saw. Oh, it all looks like Earth. It's amazing. It, it is all, like, it is all. That, that is the sound that is coming out of a lot of people right now, Aaron. You hear a roar encompassing the Rosecrans Memorial Airport airfield as 15,000 people are stopping whatever they've been doing, and they are shouting at the sky. And right now, you see full totality, Aaron. You can see this black disc hovering over the sun. And these guys are loving it. Listen. <laughs> that does sound uh, pretty cool, everybody. Our live coverage continues now. The Great American Eclipse, and we bring it home, and we join you live from the town square of Linden, Tennessee. I'm Will Nunley here along with our uh, fellow solar lunar uh, uh, correspondents today. Bert Staggs, our news director here on the town square as well. And we have Stacy uh, Evans, who's going to be joining us a little bit later as she's watching this with the uh, students at Linden Middle School. And what we're starting to experience now is certainly more of a deep deep haze over our area. You know, if you're just looking around town, if you're just looking at eye level, Bert, can you notice a little bit of difference in the amount of sunlight that we're getting? You can notice a lot of haze. You can notice that it's dropped to three or four degrees on the thermometer and people are starting to uh, come out of the buildings to enjoy. We are uh, less, about, about 10 minutes away now, uh, a little bit between 10 and 15 minutes away from what will be totality for our neck of the woods, for our vantage point here uh, in Perry County, Tennessee. We welcome all of you who are streaming us uh, along on WOPC HD News. We have a camera trained on our courthouse and uh, our beautiful historic courthouse. And as this uh, as day turns tonight, you will see that uh, in real time if you're streaming along with us right now as well. Uh, this is kind of a uh, lots of folks playing hooky from work for a moment. We are <laughs> joined. Uh, we, are, we, we share buildings here or we're right next to the, the TDS building and our friends at TDS uh, are even coming over to enjoy a little bit of the eclipse party this afternoon like so many of you are if you're tuned in and uh, and broadcasting us at your eclipse party today wherever you may be we appreciate you uh, listening to us you've been listening to coverage from ABC News as they tracked the eclipse as it started uh, in along the uh, the west coast uh, you heard reports from Oregon there and uh, through from Idaho most recently you heard it there from I believe it was Missouri and uh, so as we start to get near that Missouri area and we bring it on down here, it's just a matter of time before we actually experience uh, what will be as close to totality as we're going to get here uh, because this is traveling, folks, at 1,800 miles an hour. And I know you're going to have to imagine along with me if you're in a place where you don't have a vantage point this afternoon. But uh, we are probably, Bert, I'm going to use my unscientific guessing powers here and say that we are a good 75% uh, coverage right now of the sun and the moon shadow over the sun this afternoon and we have a few more folks joining us because this is the time when uh, it's it's good to get a seat lots of folks here uh, outside the WOPC studios getting a place uh, along the sundial here we actually have an old sundial that some of the students built years ago and uh, can you feel some excitement in the air Bert? yeah you, you can feel it um, the local restaurants are kind of emptying the local hotel here comes their staff so it's growing 
You're listening to live coverage of the Great American Eclipse, streaming along at WOPCRadio.com and on 1013 WOPC. We've been getting some pictures in uh, that uh, is a great indication of folks enjoying uh, their eclipse parties. And this is a major, it has been a major merchandising event for a lot of folks, as you know. They have had uh, whole farms uh, that have uh, sectioned off little, little places for folks to be able to watch, uh, you know, really capitalized on this. And of course, the concern concern has been on interstates and roads that <laughs> folks are just going to kind of stop uh, and uh, and watch. But hey, I mean, it's a risk you got to take. It's going to happen. Uh, as we take a look, for those of you who are streaming along with us now on WOPC HD News, we welcome you. Uh, we do have a, a live camera trained on uh, the uh, the courthouse right now, and you can kind of see that haze that we are all experiencing here along the Tennessee River Valley. And we're watching an animation as well from NASA as they are playing uh, back and forth, kind of how this is uh, how this is moving and where it is positioned at this time. And lots of folks are um, are getting ready. They're in place. They're getting ready for this moment. We're going to keep it here uh, and stay with you throughout this uh, this time and this historic moment and, and kind of broadcast right along with you, uh, not only for our crowd that is gathered along the courthouse in the uh, Linden Town Square, but those of you uh, listening that have taken us along with your solar eclipse viewing party. And every time I go inside to the studio and then I step back out, I'll tell you, you can notice more and more of this. And uh, as I stare up at the sky, folks, and again, kind of give you the unofficial uh, total, the unofficial view of what I think this is going, we're looking at about, um, uh, I would say about 75, maybe 80% now coverage of what we're seeing. Miss uh, Miss Gay Treadwell's here uh, on the square with us this afternoon. And you've been amped up because you've been, uh, I've seen you out here now for about an hour. You're getting ready for this. I am ready for it. <laughs> now, tell us about, uh, uh, and I'm not going to try to put any dates and times on anybody here, and I'm not saying, but have you ever experienced anything like this maybe anywhere else in the country? No. I do remember when I was younger that we had some type of eclipse, but it wasn't like this. Lots of folks bringing back, uh, they said they were putting on welding helmets and kind of watching it through the welding helmets. That's how they did it back at the school. But you, you're you prepared with your glasses. Oh, yes. Yes, I do. I can remember the boxes with the little holes in them. <laughs> now, <laughs> That's not telling my age. <laughs> now, where did you get your glasses? Uh, the courthouse supplied them for employees. Well, look at that. Isn't that a cool move? So uh, she has, and we've seen some of the, the folks out there getting ready, and we have a, 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 a crowd here on the lawn, and kind of a good feeling to see everybody outdoors enjoying this. Yes, just ready for it to cool off. Ready for it to cool. You get it. Get what? Two, two, three minutes of cool air. Yeah, right, that's right. And we are. We're kind of thank you, uh, thank you, Gay. And we're we're kind of watching this afternoon the, the temperature drop uh, on that fancy town of Linden side. It gives you the time and also the temperature, and that's what we're watching this afternoon as well. As we stare up to the sky, everybody, we are still moments away from what will be 98 percent totality, and you can tell it. You can experience it when you're outside and you're just looking ground level. And for those of you who are watching us online with that camera trained in the courthouse it's happening very gradually but soon you will see uh, this go from daylight to darkness here uh, on the the view that you have live streaming on Facebook at WOPC HD news and as we stare up at the sky we are at, I would say folks we are at a good 80 to 85 percent now of coverage of that shadow uh, as the moon passes by and uh, as as we speak and as we stream along with you more and more folks taking a moment to step out outside still have good traffic flow around and I'm sure that folks will uh, we're, it'll be interesting to see Bert if, if, if it's if it's enough to make the street lights you know just how dark it's gonna get are the street lights gonna come on what's gonna happen around here it'll be fun to see the next few minutes that's what I'm kind of keeping my eye on street lights the thermometers those kind of things yeah we, we're gonna watch that that temperature drop and uh, Again, uh, we, we're expecting about a moment, uh, I say a moment, how about a minute? That's the word I'm looking for. We're expecting about a minute, minute and a half of this uh, to experience here in, on our square where we will have the darkest point. You're still going to be able to see a little sliver of the moon, but uh, as dark as it's going to get for us, uh, we're not going to be able to see, at least from our vantage point here uh, along the Tennessee River, you're not going to see moon and stars. From what we are told, it's not going to get that dark because we're not in the path of total, total totality. We're, we are totality-ish, so we're, we're going to still see plenty of darkness, uh, but I don't think it's going to be quite 
uh, midnight or anything. Uh, you're listening to live coverage, folks, of the Great American Eclipse. We're live and direct with you on the Linden Town Square, WOPC FM Linden. Will Nunley here along with our news director, Bert Stagg. Stacy Evans is stationed at the school with all the uh, school kiddos as they have their protective glasses on and they're keeping eyes to the sky. And uh, it really is amazing. I was very skeptical of how, how uh, efficient uh, these little... Um, glasses would be but it's amazing what this little what this little piece of paper will do uh, and how well you can see what's going on uh, I would say we're approaching about 90% of what we're going to see now and this is going to be um, in the uh, you know again 98% totality range for us and we are probably 90% of what we're going to see right now and it is it is very interesting to stand here uh, on the square and see this haze, see this, this change uh, start to happen outside. We have a great viewing perspective here. We're very lucky today. Uh, Nashville's dealing with a few clouds. We've had uh, a, a couple of the other areas. We've heard uh, reports earlier, as ABC News was telling you, that they have had to dodge some fog. They've had to dodge some clouds, but here, uh, nothing to worry about there. We have folks that are <laughs> we're gonna we're taking a look around the courthouse square. We have folks that are just hanging out. They're they're gonna go ahead and sit down there in the park bench. They've got their nifty glasses on and they're taking a look up, and we're doing that with you as well. Uh, we are just moments away from what will be totality for us, and uh, for some folks this is a a bit of a religious experience for some folks they are planning parties for some folks it is a day out and other folks they're just sitting around the town square taking it all in Bert. Uh, the courthouse has uh, pretty much emptied out they're taking it in and on uh, some scientific data we've dropped five degrees. Really? Five degrees already? From 96 to 91. And you're getting that scientific data from our fancy dancy sign down the road. Right? Yes, that fancy dancy <laughs> sign at the town of Linden. That's right. So it is it is the uh, one of our uh, unofficial uh, correspondence here this afternoon. Bert, I'm going to uh, loan you the glasses just a second so you can take, we have, of all the preparation we've done, we only have one pair of glasses between the two of us, but we're, we're going to take turns and, and, uh, and take a look at what's, what's going on so that he can experience this along with you. If you're streaming along with us on WOPC HD News, you're looking at a live picture of the Perry County Courthouse and uh, you will start to see uh, the haze uh, continue to build and the, and the shadow continue to build over our area. Uh, it is between the 115 and 125 range where we're going to experience the most uh, of the coverage, most of the shadow for our area, and we're still moments away from that. So keep your eyes to the sky, and uh, folks, we, we're interesting to watch as folks kind of drive by this afternoon and uh, still on the roadway. They'll kind of pause. They'll, they'll see everybody outside, and they'll pause for a second and look up and, uh, and take a look at what's going on. And, uh, and, and this is a very memorable time. Folks taking pictures. We've, we've seen several folks now line, uh, lining up with their glasses on and, uh, and taking pictures to kind of commemorate the, uh, the history of this moment, the uniqueness of this moment. And uh, shadows are very bold right now. If you're in a, and what I mean by that is uh, there's just not a ton of lightness supporting you from above, uh, but your shadows are very distinct on the, on the ground right now. So it's kind of like uh, the, the type of daylight that I would describe right now is kind of like dawn, pre-dawn hours. Uh, and, uh, and dusk is, is kind of how we are when it comes to the amount of sun exposure that we have right now. The Great American Eclipse, everybody. We are, as we look up at the sky, just about 90% coverage. We're going to get near uh, as good as it's going to get for us. We'll still have a sliver of sunlight. Uh, but uh, we appreciate those of you, again, who are streaming along with us. WOPC HD News on Facebook, where you can go back and experience this again if you uh, m miss any of this. Uh, but for those of you who are having a, a day out of work, and for those of you who are uh, having a watch party somewhere, around the country uh, around the countryside i guess i should say uh that are streaming along with us uh, we welcome you and we thank you for joining us as we check in with nasa television uh the moment for us is very near uh we're going to check in on this and actually stream a little bit of this for our, for our folks here because our our uh local camera is is kind of flickering in and out we we <laughs> actually did expect uh, bandwidth problems because uh, so many people are streaming so many people are uh, are live streaming from their cell phones so many people are uh, taking this moment in and sharing it with their friends and neighbors across the country so we, we did expect for there to be some type of <laughs> issue at some point uh, with uh, with our local camera but we'll get that back up here just as soon as possible as we start to enter about 120 here in the afternoon this is the time when we are just moments away from 
uh, as close as we're going to get to totality here. Uh, about 125 uh, is uh, between 122, 125 is kind of when we're going to see the most. And the, uh, the streets, uh, the town square here in Linden, Tennessee, uh, is starting to fill up, and certainly it probably is in your neck of the woods as well. And uh, as soon as we have our uh, live picture reestablished, we will be sure to share that with you here, folks. Uh, but uh, we do have a, a lot of bandwidth being used right now because so many folks are taking this in. We're going to go back outside here uh, as we share this moment with our community, and we welcome everybody who's putting up with us uh, around the town square and, and, and listening along as well. And uh, as we take an eye to the sky and look up, oh man, it's getting more and more. Every time we step away and come back out, we can see uh, more and more coverage in the area uh, and uh, more and more kind of this haze setting in uh, as this historic moment uh, approaches us here. And uh, it, is, it is really cool. It is something to see. It is uh, really fun to be able to experience this uh, with our community and, uh, and, and kind of be here live with you on the air as well. And uh, thank you to uh, everybody who's joining us today to be a part of this. And uh, in addition to um, me being here along the, uh, the town square, uh, we have uh, Bert here as well, our news director, who's been tracking the story across the Tennessee River Valley. And of course, uh, we do have Stacy Evans, who is there at the middle school today, watching this along with the, um, with the middle school kids. So I think we may even have her on the line here shortly. We're going to try to join in with her in just a few moments. But uh, you're listening to The Great American Eclipse, live coverage on your local station, 101.3 WOPC, in just a few moments after we experience uh, the eclipse here we will rejoin ABC News as it tracks across the country and continues towards because next uh, the big party is going to be in South Carolina and again with this moving this racing across the sky at 1800 miles an hour it is quite a sight to see Stacy Evans is at uh, Linden Middle School where I can imagine Stacy the kids are lined up eyes to the sky and the moment is really almost here they are. I'm in the whole school district area, actually. I just left the middle school. The high school's lined up out back. The tennis courts are full, and now we're at the elementary school. Teachers are out front. They've got their solar glasses on. It's dimmer. It's getting darker. It's just really, really cool. They've, they've, some have homemade, homemade solar glasses on top of the regular certifiable glasses but they're all lined up they're all excited it's really cool our own certifiable correspondent stacy evans live at the middle school stacy how many people are you watching this with i mean if you look around how many students are out there with you how many students would we say are out here well where i'm standing at right now everybody say solar eclipse if that gives you an idea how many <laughs> how many kids in this batch but we just i would say there's the whole middle school the whole elementary i mean they're all lined up they're all outside they're, it's just history in the making will absolutely we're going to let you enjoy that history stacy thank you so much for joining us thank you all right our stacy evans joining us with the uh, perry county school kids as many of them are taking this in uh, live with us here this afternoon and it's it's now just a waiting game where we see how much of this shadow is going to uh, encompass our area how dark it's going to get the street lights folks are on around the linden town square it's an eerie feeling it's a surreal feeling to be here in the middle of the day to have this uh this this shadow uh, the you know the shadows being cast all around us but it, you almost wish that maybe the sun was just about this bright all the time because it's really it's pleasant enough to be able to see everything you need to see, uh, but it doesn't it doesn't really blind you when you step outside. So it's it's actually a pretty neat perspective on daylight uh, outside. So it's it's you know it's it's not doesn't feel like it does really on a cloudy day. It's a little bit more light than that, uh, but uh, but it's uh, it's kind of eerie and kind of interesting all at the same time. We have a group joining us here just outside the WOPC studios and uh, they're watching this on a sundial here and uh, uh, our uh, Bert Staggs is here with us and uh, you've been kind of watching the, um, the, the, the temperature drop. Have you noticed any change? Yes, we've dropped from 96 to 89. Okay, 96 degrees to 89. Yes, we, it's a significant drop in virtually 90 minutes. Absolutely, so it's now not only getting more pleasant to be able to stand outside and watch this so far as the amount of light but it's also getting very pleasant outside as well 
we're watching the town of Linden sign <laughs> that's giving us that information. As we look up in the sky, everybody, the moment is almost here. We're seeing a lot of coverage of the sun at this very moment. And this is the moment when uh, we have been told that this is about as good as it's going to get for us. We can see still a sliver of the sun visible, and we do expect for that to remain. And now it's just a waiting game to see how dark it's going to get uh, here for us along the town square. In just moments, we'll be rejoining ABC News national coverage as they continue their coverage of the Great American Eclipse. And now we just kind of sit and wait, folks. I know that many of you are listening in your cars, and you may have us on in the background. We know of several local parties and, and folks gathered at their farms out, uh, out enjoying this. If we look around to, uh, I guess I should say, maybe the north. No, what am I trying to say here? Maybe the east. We can see, um, no, it is the north. I'm trying to get my bearings here. You know, it's very, very dark in that, that area of the, uh, of the sky. And it's kind of interesting to see what the atmosphere is doing all around us. <laughs> I'm listening to myself trying to figure out which direction. We're also trying to get our live stream established back with our camera. Uh, so that uh, that way those of you who are streaming along can see us uh, as well. Uh, you're listening to live Eclipse coverage, everybody, on 101.3 WOPC. And as you take in this moment and we experience this with you, we're going to leave you. Let's rejoin ABC News. And uh, you can kind of listen to what uh, is happening from their perspective. And uh, we're going to be here along with you. We're going to experience this. And uh, we'll rejoin you shortly. Stay with us. This is live Eclipse coverage on 101.3 WOPC. It's, uh, it's never old. I, I don't think it's ever old hat. Um, uh, and, and in part, it's because uh, e even even though I had the uh, opportunity to fly on uh, four different missions, um, you know, there were years between each of them. And so uh, so it never lost its uh, its fresh flavor. But but I think what you're hearing, you, know, you, you mentioned a little you, I think you use the word hype a little bit. Um, and and I and, and I think that's a that's a it's a good word to use because uh, you, you, you get an opportunity to challenge the the idea that um, that there isn't a lot of substance to what we're hearing, and I th and I think the awe and wonder uh, that uh, we're hearing from the people who uh, who are you're, you're interviewing on the on the program, mm. I think it is I think it is real. It is genuine. This is a this is a marvelous thing. I've been sneaking out every once in a while, hoping, hoping I didn't get called on so I could go and see what it looks like uh, here from Houston. And I, I mean, I, it's it's it is it is awe inspiring in every sense of the word. You know, you you mentioned that and, and it, we often don't collectively as a nation stop to pause and, and marvel at the natural wonders around us. Well, and and. You know, I think it's because so so much of the the, the wonderful things around us, uh, because we see them day in and day out, uh, we we begin to take them uh, for granted, and that's just that's just normal human behavior. Uh, but uh, as as you all have so uh, so po pointed out so well, uh, this is not a routine event. This is something really really special, and and uh, gosh, even uh, even uh, you know even though most of the people in the country won't see totality um if the weather permits it uh this this eclipse is visible uh across the entire united states and that's pretty spectacular it sure is 14 states in the path of totality as uh, bill MacArthur, retired nasa astronaut so rightly points out and we've already heard from so many people in the path uh, this 3,000 mile path that began in oregon marched across idaho and wyoming and nebraska been through Missouri and Illinois and uh, now in Nashville, Tennessee, on its way to uh, its exit point from the country in uh, or near Charleston, South Carolina. And all along the way, millions of Americans have made the drive to, to an outdoor location just to experience this celestial wonder. It has not happened like this in 99 years and won't happen again till 2045 for a total eclipse. And it's wonderful. I think that so many Americans get out and so many people from around the world have come to just check it out for themselves and bear witness. I'm Aaron Katursky, and this is live coverage from ABC News. ABC's Jim Hickey, our, our, our good friend, uh, is in 
a block party right outside Charleston, South Carolina. Uh, Jim, it, it sounds like people are just having a good time no matter what the weather where you are. The people here are having a wonderful time, Aaron. They are associating with each other. This is a relatively new neighborhood, so all these neighbors are getting to know each other. There are lots of children here all riding their bicycles, stopping from time to time to look up at the uh, eclipse. Their parents being very careful that they use the special glasses. And I'll tell you, Aaron, I'm looking up at the uh, eclipse right now, and it is about three quarters covering the sun. The sun sort of reminds me at this point of the Cheshire Cat in the, uh, the story of uh, Alice in Wonderland. <laughs> and I think this is just a, a wonderful time here. Uh, we are about a half an hour away from totality in the Charleston area. And here along the Tennessee River Valley, we have passed our moment of as close as it was going to get uh, to totality for us. Uh, we are uh, live here on the town square in Linden, Tennessee. Welcome back, everybody. A great American eclipse coverage on 101.3 WOPC. But there is still plenty of the eclipse to see. Uh, there is, like I said, it has moved past one area of the, uh, of the sun and uh, is now starting to become visible. We have a, uh, we've had an eclipse viewing party, an impromptu eclipse viewing party here uh, at the studio this afternoon, and we've had folks joining us here, and uh, we've had folks uh, kind of pausing around the town square as well to take all of this in. A good community event. Now you can kind of hear vehicles on the move once again. But uh, the, the, the street lights, as a matter of fact, are still on uh, on the town square, actually. Uh, it's, it's not dark enough for us to need that here. But they are on, and, uh, and things are starting to slowly uh, return. But we did have a, uh, a, a moment of pause here uh, in the community. We had a moment of, uh, of, of silence and observation. You could feel uh, it getting darker and darker, subsequently getting darker and darker around us. Uh, we never had anything that was, uh, you know, of course, able to see stars or anything of that dramatic of nature. But we did uh, certainly s s have this surreal experience of it being uh, beyond hazy, but this really neat dim light. Uh, and as I said before, I kind of wish that we would have more days with that kind of uh, cloud-free dimmer sun. It's really neat to experience that. So we've experienced it along with you folks. Thank you so much uh, for joining us here, for streaming along on WOPC HD News, for those of you watching, and also uh, those of you on our radio audience right now, and uh, even those here listening to us in person. We're going to rejoin ABC News for about the next 20 minutes because uh, this, again, is racing 1,800 miles per hour across the nation. Next, next and last to experience it in our nation is going to be uh, South Carolina. And so they are gearing up there, and uh, we'll have ABC News live coverage from Charleston, South Carolina, as we round out this historic day, this historic moment of the great American eclipse. We're broadcasting live on 101.3 WOPC. To eat but to drink, we've got a bottle of Dom Perignon, and when it gets very dark here and we start to see the, the stars, we're going to pop the cork, and we're having a bottle of Dom Perignon. Oh, Make sure you do that near your phone so we can capture the uh, and save a glass for me. As, uh, Tracy, don't go away. Tracy Pajak uh, from Charlotte, North Carolina, went to Columbia, South Carolina, uh, along the riverbank in order to experience this eclipse tailgating with about uh, 150 other people. A as she says, just like she'd be going to a college football game, it's, it's that exciting for people all around the country and certainly for, uh, for, for those in South Carolina, the very last but certainly not least state, to catch a glimpse of totality just a few minutes from now as the eclipse exits the continental United States. Stay with us for our coverage, ABC News. This is live coverage from ABC News, the great American eclipse. From ABC News headquarters, here is correspondent Aaron Katursky. Last but not least, South Carolina, the final state to sit in the path of this total eclipse. Tracy Pajak has come from Charleston, North Carolina to Columbia, South Carolina, along the riverbank in order to experience this celestial wonder with what, Tracy, you were telling me about 150 of your closest friends? Yes, about 150 people, and actually, as for the past few minutes, it's starting to get much darker here all of a sudden. It's just that the sun is getting this very twilight. I wondered, you mentioned that you had kids and, and dogs running around. Are the animals doing anything differently? Because we had heard that they may behave a little differently in an eclipse. Some of them are sitting down as if it's like quieting down for the evening. They're no longer running around. They're just sitting down in their spot. 
and everybody else, what are they doing? The, the humans. Everyone else is looking up to the sky because it's getting slightly darker here, and everyone has their glasses on, and they're watching. If you look at the sun, it's becoming more covered by the moon. I wanted to ask if you had your official glasses. I have my official glasses, Rainbow Brand. So, all right, you're making sure to, 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 to be safe while you're chatting with us here as you experience this uh, the totality just a few moments from now. And as the sky darkens, I wondered if you just share some of your thoughts being out there on the riverbank in the middle of the afternoon in South Carolina, and it's getting dark. It is. This is like a once-in-a-lifetime experience. A lot of people weren't around in 1979 the last time this happened. And when this happens again in 2024, South Carolina actually will not be in the past. So for people that live within South Carolina or a vicinity of a couple hundred miles away, this is a really big event because they won't be here many years later from now when this happens again. It really just an incredible spectacle, and we appreciate it, Tracy, uh, spending a few minutes with us. Tracy Pajak from North Carolina traveled to Columbia, South Carolina, uh, in order to experience this near totality coming up a few moments from now. Uh, Zachary Newman's in Asheville, North Carolina. Uh, Zachary, look up. What do you see? Well, honestly, we're combating some storm clouds right now, eclipsing as we speak, and you could probably hear the crowd around me cheering it on. Uh, you're at school today, and they canceled class, right? Yes, they did. I, I mean, this but, has got to be, for, for people who are just out on the, on the quad, something special regardless of the weather. Absolutely. They're, uh, everyone's ecstatic. It, feel, it feels a lot like a Fourth of July kind of celebration as we all look at the sky. And you can see right now just a smidge of the sun being covered by the moon and also some clouds, but mostly the moon. What are people doing? Is it just kind of stand there and gawk, or uh, is there anything else going on? There's a lot of lawn chairs. There's uh, some hammocks, um, but mostly a lot of standing up and looking up, a lot of lying down, too. Zachary Newman is with us from Asheville, North Carolina, where uh, he and his pals at, at school are out on the quad because they've canceled classes for the day as people gaze upward. Some clouds, but you're still getting a sense there's an eclipse, Zach. Exactly. It's very, very dark, like nighttime. All of a sudden, it's nighttime in the middle of the afternoon. I mean, is, is, it, is it weird? Yeah, it's a little, honestly, a little disconcerting, but that's that. It's honestly spectacular. Spectacular, disconcerting. The words from Zachary Newman in Asheville, North Carolina. Enjoy yourself, Zach, uh, for this uh, potentially once-in-a-lifetime event, this total eclipse that has been experienced by the United States of America and 14 states in particular who are in the path of totality. Tracy Pajak is still with us from Columbia, South Carolina. Just a moment now from near darkness and totality. What's it like, Tracy? It's actually gotten much, much darker now. It looks like it's twilight. The sun has already gone down, it feels, and it's very eerie feeling. I actually hear the crickets. I usually come around twilight. All of a sudden, I'm near woods, and the crickets are chirping because it's, it's getting very, very dark here. It's actually kind of eerie, but cool. Everyone says that, a little eerie, but also kind of spectacular. Uh, and, and the crickets are out, so you know. The crickets are out, yes. It's weird. They're getting louder. Uh, Tracy, speak. you've got about uh, three minutes until totality uh, passes you by. Uh, what's everyone around you doing? Everyone is looking up at the sky. Uh, we've got a couple of clouds, but they're still looking up. They're listening to the crickets. The crowd is cheering. This is actually a really cool moment in life. And you're listening to continuing live coverage of the Great American Eclipse on 101.3 WOPC. Hi, everybody. We're back live at our studios here in Linden. I'm Will Nunley. We've been joined uh, throughout our broadcast with News Director Bert Staggs. And uh, now we once again uh, rejoin uh, our special solar correspondent for the day, Stacy Evans, who is out uh, at the, the Perry County High School right now with a group of uh, everybody, students and parents and teachers alike, who have just enjoyed watching the eclipse in this moment. And Stacy, take us there. What was it like? Hi there. Hi there. I'm excited. I'm, I'm here at the high school. And the high school is, is blaring 1013 out of their shop doors. They've got something to tell you, Will. Go for it, guys. 
<laughs> All right. All right. So they've been uh, enjoying the uh, the viewing party there from the high school this afternoon. And uh, Stacy kind of set the scene for us. We we experienced this as it came through and we we saw the you know, we certainly felt it get dimmer outside. And uh, what was it like to experience it there? It was amazing. We, it, hey, what, what was it like for you all to see the eclipse here at the high school? What was it like for you all to see? It was awesome. It was something that once in a lifetime experience. It was definitely something that you It was awesome. It was amazing. Pretty neat. <laughs> oh, no. that, that, that wraps it up here at the high school for you, Will. That's, oh. that's what they thought. All right. Thank you very much, Stacy. And that's our. That's our, uh, our watch party that happened, as, as many of them happened across the area today at farms across the area and, uh, and right here along the Courthouse Square at our studios where we are today. Uh, thank you for joining us for this uh, little bit of history uh, and, uh, and experiencing this moment along with us. We appreciate it, everybody. Uh, that's it. That's going to conclude our special uh, solar eclipse coverage, both on air and online. Thank you so much for joining us on 101.3 WOPC, streaming live at WOPCradio.com and on WOPC HD News. That's all from Lyndon. Have a good afternoon, everybody. Now back to regular programming.